Welcome to Church Unleashed, a Lutheran ministry that wants you to know that you are unconditionally loved by God. We know that faith can often seem like a wrestling match, life overwhelming and hope hard to find. Worship gives us a chance to pray, hear sacred stories, rest in love, and be turned outward to prepare for the week ahead. So join us every week, either on TV or online. Take a deep breath as we begin worship together. Good morning and welcome to Church Unleashed. We are glad you're here today. I'm Pastor Steve. And I'm Pastor Roger here at Lake Chautauqua here Lutheran yep. Center again, where we'll be all summer long and all summer long. We also have a wonderful surprise in store for all of you and really for all of us too. Throughout the summer, we have invited guest preachers oh, to come great. from all around Western New York to share the good news with us. Uh, very excited. And the only prompt we gave these wonderful preachers was, preach for us your favorite sermon. So we are really looking forward to what uh, they have put together this summer. Your favorite sermon that's only 10 minutes long. Oh, your right? favorite Not sermon your that's only minute right. sermon. perfect, yes. Well, we're super excited uh, today <laughs> to have Pastor Jamie Retallick here. Yes. And uh, Jamie grew up at this camp. He yep. was a camper here. He was a staff person here. Yep. Uh, in fact, he and I had multiple conversations right on the stairs of that cabin right over there. And now he's the pastor at St. John Lutheran Church in downtown Lancaster. He also still serves here as the chaplain. So yeah, we're super summer. excited to have him here with us today uh, and so we hope that that time will be a blessing for you with his message a little bit later. And as we begin today we turn to God uh, confessing our sins and hearing that word of grace for all of us. So blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God who provides, guides, and sustains. Amen. Amen. Drawn to Christ and seeking God's abundance, let us confess our sin. God our provider, help, help us. We, we fall short so many times. We question your ways when they differ from the culture of the world in which we live. We turn to our own understanding rather than trusting in you. We often fail to fully live into your teachings. Turn us again to you. Reconnect us through your grace. Share with us the words of eternal life and feed us for life in the world. Amen. Beloved people of God, Jesus is our daily bread. In him we are fed and nourished. By Jesus, the worker of miracles, there is always more than enough, always a welcome home. Through Jesus, the bread of life, you are shown God's mercy, and you are forgiven and loved, invited again into abundant life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and all God's people said, Amen. Amen. All right, guys, I got this on my own. I got it on my own. I got it on my own. I got it. Oh, one more time. Here, I'll give myself a boost. That didn't work. Okay, so it seems like 
This wall is a little bit bigger than me and I am not as big as this wall. Have you ever, oh, by the way, welcome to the children's time. I'm, I'm against the wall, I'm here at camp. I'm against the wall. I'm, I gotta get over the top of this wall. I'm trying to do it myself. I think I can figure this out myself, right? It's not that high. I'm a little shorter than it, I'm a little older than it and uh, a little out of breath and that's fine. Everything's fine right now on set. I'm gonna try it one more time. One more time. Oh, oh. Okay, I've tried just about everything. You know what I haven't tried actually? I haven't tried some prayer. Let me try some prayer and let's see where that goes. Will you look at that? A little bit of prayer and all of a sudden, the walls in my life, I was able to get around them and over them and actually behind them what the prayer was, it's, it wasn't a miracle. I'm not gonna tell you that it was. I actually forgot that there's stairs on the back of this thing and I just climbed up. It reminds me of the story in page 276 of your Spark Bible. It says, do not worry. Jesus loved to teach people so much he wanted them to know how to live God's way. It's what Romans talks about too. And it says to us, hey, don't worry. The Holy Spirit's gonna carry you, gonna help you through all the hardest things of your life, gonna help you climb or maybe go around the walls that are in your life. I don't know if maybe you have a wall in your life right now. Maybe you have something that seems insurmountable. Maybe you just can't do it yourself. Well, guess what? Here's the good news. You don't have to do it yourself. You get to do it with God's Holy Spirit in your life. You get this reminder of these stories in scripture of other people that have done it throughout history. They haven't done it on their own. They've done it with God's love and hope and the Holy Spirit's guidance. Whatever your summer brings this summer, make sure that you know that God's Holy Spirit is guiding you and will help you around all the walls of your life. Everything that you face that you try and do on your own and you can't, be reminded that God's Holy Spirit is guiding you. Let's pray about it if you would. Dear God, thank you so much that when we come across the walls, you will help us go over them, around them, and climb up behind them. Thank you for the reminder that your Holy Spirit guides us everywhere we go. And all God's people said, Amen. Have a great week, everyone. Hi, as uh, Steve and Roger shared with you earlier, I am Jamie. I'm the pastor at St. John's in Lancaster and St. John's in Elma. They told me I was supposed to do pastor's favorite sermon, but I'm not great at following directions. I didn't know it was supposed to be my favorite sermon. So credit to uh, Tim Madsen, my inspiration uh, for this one. I'm going to talk to you today uh, about a glass and about a shirt. First, the glass. The, the standard question that gets asked whenever a glass comes into the question is, is your glass half full or is your glass half empty? So which is it for you? Half full or half empty? Maybe, maybe it depends on your mood, right? When things are, are when you're happy, when you had a good night's sleep, you, uh, you look at the glass and you say, yeah, that's half full, right? You look at your house that has some repairs that need to be done and you go, it's, it's a fixer upper. Or maybe when things aren't going so great, you think half empty, right? Uh, the, the glass is half empty. Your, your house that needs some, some repairs, it's not a fixer upper, it's, it's a dump, right? And, and everything looks grim. Maybe, maybe you know which one it is that you tend to be. Maybe, maybe you don't want to always admit which one it is, right? You, you want to pretend society wants us to be happy. Society wants us to see glass half full. Uh, and so you pretend that that's the case, but maybe you see glass empty. When we are, uh, when we're in those situations in our lives where we have to make that assessment, when we're in that, those situations in our lives where we have to look at the glass, maybe sometimes you turn to scripture. And I have a reading today from Romans, which is a letter that Paul is writing to one of his congregations. And he, sa he says uh, in uh, Romans 15, he says, May the God of hope 
fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him. He keeps on going, he says, I myself am con and convinced, my brothers and sisters, that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with knowledge, and competent to instruct one another. If you hear that, maybe you think that uh, the idea of faith is instead of asking the question half full or half empty, to think of faith as something that fills our glass. So it's not anything. It's, it's, it's not half anything. It's just entirely full. And you have a, uh, a nice full glass like this. Which brings me to my shirt. If you go to any Lutheran church, you will find one of these shirts. It might be a different color. Uh, they change the colors every so often. Uh, it'll probably be a double XL like this one, right? Because you get an equal number of all the shirts. But I, I promise you, go to your congregation, start opening doors and drawers and cabinets, and you will find a box of these shirts. They say, live generously on them. And that to us can mean that we take that glass that is full and we use that to, to share with one another. That, that in God, our glass isn't half full or half empty. Our glass is just full. If we stopped just at that point, though, if we stopped with just faith and God helps us to fill our glass, it helps us to fill other glasses, and we can walk around with fuller glasses throughout the day. If we stopped just there, then we're pretty much just a self-help group, right? Like I can, I can go to Barnes and Noble and get a million books about how to, to fill my glass. I can go to, uh, to the store and, and find any number of DVDs or, or books or, or whatever it might be that just tell me, you know, follow this plan that I have, uh, follow this public speaker, that guy with the really big smile, for instance, follow, follow that and you'll find yourself, you know, with, with the full glass. I don't think that we stop there though. I don't think that what we do when we talk about faith is just have some self-help group. Because the, the trick is that when I read that reading to you from Romans, I left a part out. I skipped over half a verse. It goes, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. We aren't a glass half full. We aren't a glass half empty. We're not even a glass that's full. We are a glass that is overflowing. We are a glass where it fills so much that it runs over what it's in, pours out all over the world around it. I had to, to run away <laughs> from, from the mess that made, right? As I started to, uh, to, to pour that, it started to, to fill the seat I was in. I had to get up. When, when we see that in God, our cup is overflowing, it's not just a choice to go and, and help others. It's not just something that we can do to, to live out that generosity. It's something that happens without any of our control. There is so much goodness, so much love and mercy and grace that it pours out all over the place, right? I can't, I can't move this around without it spilling. If I set it down, it spills more. It's on my hands and it's on the shirt that I used as a tablecloth there. To me, these stains are what we are. These stains are what God leaves behind through us. A generosity that is so overflowing grace and mercy that is so overflowing that it's not something that we consciously do. It's not self-help. It's God pouring out into the world around us through his overflowing glass. If I were, uh, if I were to have to redesign these shirts, I, I'd, I'd probably have a stain like this on them. And Maybe the fact that there are so many of them in your congregation maybe, maybe, maybe means that you can use them to, uh, to mop up that overflow as well. But whatever shirt you wear, when you go out in faith, 
when you go out into God's community in love and in grace and in mercy, you are the stain on the shirt. You are the overfilled glass. God fills us to overflowing, not half empty, not half full, but enough that it pours out into the world around us. And so live generously and overflow. Don't taste that great. Amen. Together, let's join our voices as we say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
Please join us now as we center ourselves together wherever you are and join our hearts together in prayer. Good and gracious God, thank you. Thank you for this space, this uh, abundant creation around us, which just reminds us how you are renewing us and you're giving us this creation uh, to enjoy and help us to take care of it. Help us to leave this place better than we found it. And we thank you for the blessing of this camp, this place that, that shows creation and allows uh, people from, from four years old to 104 to enjoy your creation around them. Continue to bless it and bless us to take care of it. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Gracious God, you never cease from giving and giving and giving to us. You did not even hold back your own son. We thank you for all the blessings in this life, particularly today. We thank you for the blessing of community, for giving us an abundance of people to get to know and to love, to, to journey with in this life that you have given to us. Continue to pour out that abundance into our hearts and our lives. Make us your instruments of grace and compassion as we continue to build community and, and grow in faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, our prayer. God, Holy Spirit, be with all those who suffer today. Be with those in need, those who feel that their cups are empty, those who seek for something better, those transitioning into something greater. We ask that you be with all of your children this day. Lord, in your mercy, Hear, Hear our, our prayer. prayer. And let us join together, praying as our Lord taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Whew, Amen. Thank you. I don't know, uh, maybe you could hear it or not, the birds chirping in the back <laughs> praying with us uh, was great. So normally, as most of you know, we do the very exciting uh, part called Mail, mail Time. time. Mail, mail Time. Mail. <laughs> Close. But we're not <laughs> doing that new. this time. We're doing Pastor Jamie time. So uh, we just want to give you a chance to tell us in the community here, you're a, you're a pastor at two churches called St. John, very creative. Yes. Uh, and we, what's something exciting that you're just really looking forward to in and through the ministries of those churches? Yeah, I like to call them St. John Squared. Nice. We, uh, at both congregations, we <laughs> recently received some generous gifts. And so oh, wow. one of the things I'm excited for is taking a look at the world around us and figuring out where would be some great ministry locations yeah. to make the most out of those gifts and to fulfill wow. the intent that they were given with. Do you guys have any ideas of... Hmm. Ah, uh, tons <laughs> of ideas. <laughs> yes, we do. And that's a good reminder, actually. But hopefully you're thinking about maybe what is something you can do as a legacy gift uh, through some of the assets that you have. We have had some gifts come into yeah. Church Unleashed yeah. uh, from that. So uh, we're, well, we're really glad you were here. Thanks for spending time. You're going to be back with us in a couple weeks for another sermon, so we're looking forward to that. But uh, we'll wait on that. So. No, thanks for being here. And Absolutely. Can't. Thank you for your support for uh, offering your generous gifts to this ministry. It would not be possible. We would not be here without your support. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, Pastor Jamie, if we may impose one more thing upon you, would you bless us and send us out into the world today? I would love to. Thank you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his favor upon you, grant you his peace and fill you to overflowing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Friends, may you be unleashed, unleashed into the world to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.